Kamin Fulcher, welcome to Yeah, it's week seven folks. Nearly nearly eight weeks. Two months into the new year. Right, so this layout is actually gonna be a big journaling card for our Alice in Wonderland journal. I want to be done with the journal by the end of the week. Whether we are is another story, but let's try. So let's do this uh, this journal uh, Marguerite Miller challenge. So the prompts are something that squeaks or honks. So I have a squeaky mouse. Okay. Then it's a cake. So we've got this. Heiger took the large cake out of the bag and gave it to Alice to hold. There we go. Uh, something torn, so I think I might just tear out that that line to stick on there. A math symbol, we will do very, very last. Bonus. Oh, I missed something. A pair of something. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, pair of twins. Okay. So, and then the uh, math symbol. And then the bonus is pattern paper. So I hold out my pattern paper. Um, this I got from a friend of a friend. It's kind of hard. What is the definition of a friend? I would kind of say an acquaintance. Anyway, she's a, a home ec teacher. And... Uh, she forwarded on all this because I, 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 I can't find pattern pattern paper anywhere. Couldn't find it anywhere until I got some, of course, and then I found it everywhere. I wonder if we shouldn't just tear this out. Should we just tear this out the book? Okay. Um, yeah, let's tear it out and then we're done. Okay, so we can put this, we can put our Marguerite Miller Challenge book away. Because we're just going to work straight on here. And let me get a bit of a glue paper. Just to, this is a misprint, a work misprint. So Let's go. Now, I'm going to use Mod Podge on this, or Matte Gel Medium. Because we are going to use some watercolor paint so while I'm thinking about it let me just spray these so we can moisten them up don't know what colors we're going to use but we're definitely going to use some colors put that down there still haven't learned anything I've done one session of kind of getting acquainted with brush strokes and why is this all lifting up here no problem we just bung some more glue down there so there we go that can stay there. And so everybody's doing their mock exams for their final year. I don't know if in uh, South Africa we called it prelims, and they do two. They do like I think in America you call it junior high, and then they do it again in. Um, The last year, yeah. I don't know what. What do you want? What's this brown stuff? It must be paint. Oh, it doesn't matter because we're going to put paint on. On this. On this thing. So I'm going to get that all down. Like that. Just scoot some of this over to this end. Get it all the way down. Let it cover everything. I have got um, gesso uh, on, on top of the page. Just so now this is going to dry very, very quick. So I need to get cracking. And I want to put this down and I want to go. I want some texture. some texture down there I don't want it to be I just feel like I need some down this corner okay get some texture down this isn't very textured now I've got to make a hole in it okay it doesn't matter let's just um just go like this and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this over the top 
kind of should actually be using a brush for this this bit anyway so how has your weekend been folks uh, I'm actually filming this Thursday evening because I'm busy making the son's birthday cake and there's there's time in between you know when you're waiting for the cake to and with this recipe you have to let it rest for 30 minutes in the cake tin before you even cake take it out the cake tin so while that was while I was waiting for that I just did the um, uh, did the backgrounds for this and then that dried and I uh, answered a few emails and and now um, I want I just wanted to get this this layout out my head you know what I mean and just get the Alice in Wonderland stuff sorted okay this needs to go back in my my case and I'm not going to oopsie need something underneath there let's get that up there it's not sticking probably be chopping these edges off but I just want to be sure to be sure right so I have to just have to make the butter icing which hopefully won't take me too long I'm gonna take this one and put it over here and take this one and put it down there and then I just want to make sure everything is down there's no bubbles there looks like there is bubbles there let's just squish it so yeah so I'm having a big uh, I feel like it's these well I suppose it is really a busy week because it's I'm doing trips odd times of the day in the week because of the exam so I'm fetching and carrying a suck oh. my gran used to have this saying I don't know your uh, I don't know if I can say it your ass from your elbow so yeah that's kind of what I'm feeling like at the moment can't wait for this week to be over to be honest so Saturday night we are going to the nice Japanese restaurant okay so this needs to dry that'll be quick the time we we finish prepping our pages let's just put that to one side that'll be fine oh let's yeah where am I gonna put this put this over here I just want to stick my pattern paper away that can get packed away okay these pictures now um, I'm gonna get the tea ruler and I'm gonna get the, the rough one the rough one and we're gonna just um, for now I think we just take off everybody it this way so I don't and then we can decide if we're going to keep Alice in here or not but she's in the cake so and then okay let's just leave her on for now these might be interesting bits for collage that and now this one is a bigger one so I'm thinking that we could make this one the like centerpiece we don't want to chop his foot off just kind of getting more or less a straight line and more or less a straight line. OK, 
Okay. Sorry, got a little. Oh, we need to do the, do the squeaky mouse as well. Oops. Okay, so kind of. Okay, we'll, we'll leave Alice in this one. Maybe we should just keep her in the other one as well. Yeah, maybe we should. Just trying to keep this one straight. Oh my goodness, guys, you wouldn't believe the morning I had on Sunday. Got off the shower, did the whole, you know, all the lotions and powders and potions when you get out the shower. Did all of that, took the towel off my hair to um, because uh, it was wet, I washed my hair and then um, and it was one of those days where I really could not set foot out the house unless I'd washed my hair and um, ran the brush through my hair and like what is going on here no it was um, conditioner in my hair yeah Okay, and then what happened after that? Oh, then I, uh, the, my makeup brush, I was putting like a highlighter color on, and it was with a sort of a largish brush, and the, it picked up the, the black next to it. So a lovely brown smudge. My eye looked like my eye had been punched. Okay. Uh, and then when I went, we have two boxes in church. One is the, the, you know, to for donations, and the other one is for like connection cards. And I duly loaded the because it all comes in envelopes. Loaded the connection cards in the money bag and trudled off. Somebody else from staff says, "Oh, by the way, I've got the money. <laughs> I've got all the tithes and offerings." It's like what? So I'd taken the wrong box. Somebody had switched the boxes around. So that was my day on Sunday. Totally, totally mad day. Anyway. So that's about as exciting <laughs> as it can be. So, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, that's about it. What else have I got to tell you? Not much else. I, I, I want to kind of. I'm trying. That's why I'm actually um, recording now. I'm trying to get like a week in advance, just just so that the pressure's off. You know, if something happens and I can't record it, that I'm not stressed out about it. That it's okay. Now I have a week to catch up. So I'm going to try. Now hopefully I'll get it right. Okay, so we've got these three pictures. We've got, I know what math symbols I want. Uh, something torn, fair something cake. Okay. Right, so now uh, this, is, this is our torn thing. We can be able to to uh, ink it let's go like that there we go this is what I got from where did I get Corey Diamond I got her a scrap bought a scrap was it it was it was Corey or was it Tracy no it was Corey bought a like a scrap with and this came in ink and think she got permission from Gail to do that <coughs> so. I use it every now and then for finicky books like that right let's have a look at this okay I'm gonna I'm gonna get my heat gun out this is not drying fast enough for me so I'm just gonna right um, I'm just gonna 
sort of cut off I'm not going to be I'll trim it all down to the right size once I've uh, thing I'm just going to cut this off so I kind of know where we are where the top and the bottom ends and then we'll trim it when we're all done oh keep those bits and chuck them away okay so now we've got Oh no, I'm going to do colour first. I want colour on the background and then we'll position the pictures and then we'll do the math symbols and put, then put our torn words on the cross uh, over the top. Okay, so now what am I'm just going to get my gel brush, my water brush that has got a crack in it. It's got a lovely crack there, but that doesn't matter. So I am going to go with some purple oh I've got lots of water there get some purple down oh, let's wet this again okay and I'm being very generous with the water and I'm just gonna put some color on okay okay just wherever should actually use a dry brush first and I'm just putting colour down like that. Clean my brush off, sort of. Get some of this nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. wonder what happens if we add uh, um, sorry I haven't got a haven't got water with me as usual uh, let's put some of this green on oopsie mixing our red with it okay and then while this is drying folks I am going to quickly go and ice my cake and then hopefully that will be I'm gonna let this, and I'm not gonna dry this with the with the with the glue gun. I'm just uh, not glue gun, the heat gun. I'm just gonna let this do its runny bit that it wants to do. Add a bit more water here. And the green off my brush is making everything brown. Okay, I think we need, what do we need? Yellow? Let's just take off here. I'm just going to clean off my blue, it's got a bit of pink on there. Make the green turquoise. I love hearing my my boys talking to their dad, coming and asking for advice. It's a blessing to have something like that. My brother and I never had it. Putting bits of brown. This is what's this color? I don't know. What's it say? Raw umber. This is raw umber, so it's quite it's quite dark. Okay. is easy if you go like this this one says that it's this color says that it is 
transparent oxide, I think. Transparent brown oxide. That's what this is. Whoops. Okay, so let's just see what that does. Okay, so most of this is going to be covered, so I can work away on that. Let me go and brush this. Let me go and ice that cake. I'm just going to go like this. Just get this all to, to soften out and make some nice, interesting patterns. There we go. I'm going to leave that. I shall be back shortly. Let me go and make this cake. Right, folks. So I didn't, it still feels wet at the back, but I did that on purpose because I want to actually dry it with something on it to flatten this out. So, but it's, it's dry enough for us to to be gluing our pictures on so kind of want to get the line features and do her and do this this we mousey um, let's go like this go like that and then we do this one we make a little to make a little story there what do you think folks and then we've got is this side nicer or oh, this is nicer this side we go like this let's do it like this there's more texture this side I think we do it like that I kind of like the black and white and then the the other shining through I wonder just to thinking if we shouldn't frame the pictures with red I think we should try we should try hold on a sec I need to get a I need to get a squidgy a new one because with my anniversary money that I got my my Amazon voucher I got this uh, carnation red that's what I needed. A, I didn't have a like a red red. The candied apple is not a red red, people. It's uh, it's uh, it's a pink red. So I think we do that just to be different, hey? bit awkward trying to ink this sort of anyway the icing's done the cake's iced um, I think we're gonna sing happy birthday now now because um, we normally do it like first thing in the morning but hubby's got a huge project on the go so he's at the door at half past six uh, and it's coming home late at night so yeah anyway it's just a season right I think that looks a little bit better right so let's get our tacky glue um, I'm using tacky glue because it's textured and kind of um, and then I'm gonna dry it flat so hopefully we won't have too many lumpy bumpies you know what I mean so I'm just gonna get this on quickly 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 like that because this paper isn't the thickest so I just want to make sure I've got enough on there and we're gonna go like that I'm gonna I'm gonna smooth it out and maybe we'll even get some of the paint coming through and then I'm gonna do this one on this side on come out glue and we're gonna stick him over here okay let's get 
you down. Okay, just get the glue down on all those lumpy bumpies. And then we're gonna come in here to stay down. No cooling up, you hear me? And then this one we're gonna put like that. That's what we're gonna do. Come on. Come on. Is it not coming out? There's something blocking it. Come on. Don't come out in a big lump. Where's the pin? Let's do a little bit of a operation there. And then we go like that. And then enough glue, I suppose the sides have dried now and let's just get you down like that there we go there we go okay well, that's looking cool now we want our words and I'm not going to ink this because I'm just going to go like that, stick there, and there, and, should, okay, where's my fingers? We do it like that, like that. What do you say? I think so. So these are our torn, the prompt, which is uh, something torn. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go like that. Come on, and then like that. And then, come on, come on. <laughs> this paper's bending down, and then like that okay there we go and I hope this is dry enough so I quite like that now for our math symbols right so my math symbols I'm not going to do anything fancy I'm just going to do that Plus, minus, times, and divide. Uh, just like that. And you know what else is times is a star. So I'm just going to do a few stars. I think that might. So how's that folks? I think, we'd, I wonder if we shouldn't do some symbols down here. Let's do, let's do this. to get a few markings down here so it doesn't oh that's quite wet there looks like a bit 
bit of stitching okay there we go so that's week seven guys and i'm gonna trim it i'm gonna wait for it to dry so what i want to do is i want to now dry it so what i'm gonna do let me first get you up close and personal so there's our uh, um, something that squeaks or honks is our mouse we have a cake a pair of something something torn math symbol a few and bonus is pattern paper now this is pattern paper not patterned paper but you know you can interpret it like you what you want so now what I'm going to do before I say goodbye I'm going to take my um, my glue mat I'm going to go like this and find a spot that's not too too hmm okay I don't it's too dirty so I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to find some clean <laughs> cover minders okay even that looks like it's a bit of a challenge okay just going to go like that and another one I'm going to go like that and then I'm going to take this one clean that side's clean and just reach over here that side's clean and that side's clean and then I'm going to take the old Alice book and I'm going to go like that I might find something else to put on top here as well I don't know what do we have we have our box of of stuff that's going to go in the Alice journal okay folks I'm going to say cheerio now and I'll see you on Wednesday